This is the freeform question, part A. Please take pause to read through the question. Okay, so we have this point P. It begins at the top, and it is rotating clockwise. So omega sub zero is equal to negative two pi radians per second. And it's got this angular acceleration, which is in the opposite direction, so it's positive. What does that mean? If the acceleration is opposite direction to the velocity, means it's slowing down radians per second squared. So this thing's rotating clockwise and it's slowing down. And the question asks, when is P at the top again? Well, I can picture this happening one of two ways. Either, let's scroll down a little bit, either A, what will happen is it will, as it's slowing down, it will stop and then turn around and come back up to point uh, P that way, so delta theta equals zero. That's sort of the more obvious way, or depending on how fast it's initially going compared to how fast it's slowing down, B, it might first go all the way around, okay, as it's slowing down, so delta theta is equal to 2 pi. So in order to solve this, we sort of need to figure out which of those two it is. So the question is, I guess, when does it stop? Let's figure out the stopping time, and that might give us a hint. So we'll know that uh, alpha is equal to delta omega divided by delta t. So if we want to figure out for delta t of the stopping time, stop, it's going to be equal to initial omega uh, divided by this alpha. So that would be delta t stop is equal to your 2 pi radians per second divided by your 0 0.4 radians per second squared. That would give you an idea. If you type that to your calculator, 15.7 seconds for it to stop. How far will it go in that amount of time? Delta theta is going to be equal to your average velocity divided, or not divided by, but multiplied times your uh, delta t, times delta t stop. Okay, well, which will be your initial 2 pi radians per second plus 0 divided by 2, that's your average, times this 15.7. And I got that that equals 24.6 radians. Okay, and so that is actually uh, about four turns. So it must be case B. It must go all the way around before it stops. So we're going to use delta theta is equal to 2 pi in order to solve this problem. So that was just setting this up to try to picture in my head what's going to happen and how we're going to solve this. So I'm going to go back up to the top now and try to figure out our knowns here. We now, in fact, we don't care about omega final. We're going to say that it's going to swing right past it, okay? And we need uh, t, okay? That's what we're trying to solve for: is what time does it pass p again? We're going to say that theta final uh, minus theta initial is equal to negative two pi. It'll go around clockwise once right around. So let's use uh, theta final equals theta initial plus omega sub zero t plus one half alpha t squared. 
and solve for t. So this looks like a quadratic. Let's form it into a quadratic. It'll be alpha over 2 times t squared plus omega t plus uh, theta sub 0 minus theta f. Okay, so this is a quadratic equation uh, with uh, x. Instead of x, we've got t. Instead of a, we've got alpha over 2. Instead of b, we've got omega. Instead of c, we have uh, theta sub 0 minus f, theta sub f. So the solution to the quadratic is going to be uh, your t equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Hopefully everyone kind of remembers our quadratic equation. If you don't, it was on the front of the test. So let's just plug in all these numbers. So t equals negative b will be negative omega. Oh, this should be omega sub 0. And so should this. Negative omega sub 0 plus or minus the square root of a omega sub 0 squared minus 4ac. So uh, there's a alpha over 2 is a. So it's just going to be minus 2 times alpha times c, which is your uh, 2 pi there. Hopefully I'm not going off my screen. Uh, all divided by 2a, so just alpha in this case. So I was just saying we set uh, theta sub 0 minus theta f. It's Your delta theta is negative 2 pi, so this is actually a positive 2 pi, because it's actually initial minus final. So this is all the way around. Okay. So your t equals uh, 2 pi is negative of omega naught plus or minus square root 2 pi radians per square squared radians per second squared uh, minus Alpha was 0 0.4, so twice that is 0. Point, sorry, 0 0.8 times 2 pi to go all the way around. Uh, divided by alpha is 0 0.4. Plugging that into my calculator, uh, let's just put the discriminant into the calculator first. I've got 2 pi plus or minus 5.8. 8, 6, 9, about 9, 6, all divided by 0 0.4. So that turns out to be t equals either for the minus, for the plus case, I get 30.4 seconds, or for the minus case, I get 1.034 seconds. So I would think the smaller time will be the first time that you re reach point P. And then it stops after 15 seconds and comes back and hits it again at 30 seconds. That's, that's what I'm guessing here. So this would be the first time. So T1. And let's just check to see how many significant digits we're going to need here. Uh, does anybody remember? It looked like 2, right? Because it was 2... 0 0.0 pi. Yeah, so that looks okay. So let's take this to two significant digits, so it's just 1.0. 1.0 seconds. <laughs>